All right, well, this is where we got to last time, and uh, we laid down the dark. Remember, we're going to talk about uh, painting dark first and then painting light over the top. So, in my last tutorial, uh, I painted all this darker color. I did, however, add in some of these lighter tones. I couldn't help myself. So, as I was working all that darker paint, I was picking up bits of white and sort of smearing it in. I think that's okay to do that. That's a, it's, you know, you've got to go with your instincts as you paint. That's the most exciting thing about painting. You don't know what's going to happen. You have an idea, you have a plan. Remember my plan was to work in a complementary color scheme. I was going to work blue and then orange. And now my complementary color schemes I was going to work. Um, going off, going off these, remember these, we did these. We're a fair little while ago now, but anyway, uh, I, I was going to, work in red green but I decided no I'll work in blue orange but then what happened as I'm working blue orange uh, purple yellow started to creep in as well and that's that that was I just went with that that's it just sort of started to happen as I was mixing the color it just the purple started to emerge and then purple bounced off the yellow because my orange sort of started to lean more yellow it's really exciting to, to, to start to paint and as you paint it's it, like you have a plan, but you go, yeah, but I don't quite know what's going to happen. And it's uh, that's quite a, a beautiful thing as you paint. As long as you can control it, you've got to be able to control it. It can get out of hand and it can all turn to mud. Now, when it all turns to mud, don't panic. You just stop and let it dry. And then once it's dry, then you just start working again over the top and start to bring some of those brighter colors back. So I do have a few muddy areas. I don't mind the muddy areas because there's some really bright areas that jump out. And it's kind of like muddy areas for me in a painting, as long as you've got some bright parts, they're a bit like um, you don't really know a sunny day until you've experienced the stormy one. So here are my storms or murky days. And then here are my really, <laughs> really bright days. So. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm now, what, what I, the tricky part now, this is a really tricky time in a painting, it could all go very, very wrong. So I'm going to just remind myself, this is a little talk I'm having actually, is reminding myself of the orange, blue, and the purple, yellow that, that was going on. And I'm reminding myself that when I, when I do this next layer of painting, it's very important to leave what's there exposed. Don't bury all of this. Please don't bury it. There's some beautiful things happening. Let them, let them come, let them glow through. I'll show you what I mean, because I started to do some light stuff here anyway. You'll recall that when I was doing this, these, these darker areas are showing through and you get a real sense of depth that spot there is a long way back and that's really important that we maintain that that's a long way back that's a long way back so to get that to get that sort of what's in the foreground and what's in the background and what's going a long way back is really important in in a, in a painting so hi so one of the things um, one of the rules I like to stick to is one by Cezanne, Paul Cezanne. Paul Cezanne said, um, cool colors recede and warm colors come forward. And uh, you know, that, that's working here. If we get back on this, the warmer tones are coming forward and the cool colors are receding. I know that we've got a sense of this being a sort of a sky but it's still jumping forward. And, and one of the things with abstract painting is we're gonna play with what's forward and what's back. I, I, I guess we're trying to evoke an atmosphere of, you know, well, in this case, it's a bit of a stormy landscape. That's a bit of my trademark really as a painter is that sort of stormy landscape. But um, just when I drag it close to being, you know, just when I sort of go, you know what, this is, could be a mountain. Just as I do that, I then bounce this really bright paint forward at you and sort of almost see a mountain but then it's not a mountain it's paint again and I, 
I, I like doing that in a painting, that push-pull thing that you get in a painting, that tug-of-war for the viewer. Okay, so let's get into um, some painting. I'm going to try to preserve as much of this as possible, but I'm now going to work over the top in light colour. So here's my palette. I've got some pretty big lumps of paint out, but you'll notice that my white is on a separate palette. And I've only got these reasonably thick brushes. Um, but yes, my white is on a separate palette. And there's a good reason for that. It's because I'm going to pull these colors into the white as I paint. All right, I'm going to get started. This kind of a brush here, and I'm going to hold it like that, okay? And uh, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to start to just get some water on the surface of this. Like this. I'm, and I'm going to get some, I'm going to get this really bright red here. Because it's painted in that red at the moment. So I want this brighter red. And what I'm going to do is never use colour, never use pure colour on its own. So I'm going to grab a little bit of the yellow. And I'm just going to knock the edge off that red just a touch and then I'm going to be quite rough I'm going to hold the brush quite loose and I'm just going to kind of work that and that's enough see that let's get back from it that's just enough like that so let's just kind of just remind people that, that I'm picking up the surface I'm picking up those those kind of bumps on the surface here. We don't want it too powdery looking, but already I can see that I need to bring in some here and here. So let's do that. I'll get some more of that red. I might just adjust it a touch. And again, kind of, I, I do have a direction that I'm working, but I, now I'm going to pick up a, I'm going to pick up a lump of the pure red, and I'm going to quite aggressively just kind of lay it in. Really, don't be afraid to to be pretty loose with it. And I'm going to create a, a band of red across the bottom here. Remember, I'm doing blue orange, so. Now I'm going to lighten it, use an even lighter one, and just lay it in you know, like this. All right. Just start laying in things. When, you, when you're working like this, You've got to know, you've got to know when not when to stop as well. This is not going to need a lot, this painting. I just want to lighten up some of these, some of these brush strokes. All right, so let's let's get back and have a look. The red's a little strong. I will knock it back. Alright, how am I going to knock it back? Because you're going to go, well, hey, you're knocking it back. Don't stop now. Alright, I'll show you. So I'm going to mix up some of this orange here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be careful how I use it. I'm just going to dust it. I'm just going to dust bits of it through like this. Can you see that? Just little bits. It's pretty yummy. It's very nice. This is this is the this is the this is the really good this is the good stuff about painting. I love painting like this. Alright, now I've mixed up this kind of it's close to this mustard colour. So I'm gonna lay that in there. It's not about colouring things in, like I need to go to the edge. Okay. And then I might grab at this point, I'm gonna grab some white. Mix it with that yellow, but it's gone a bit fleshy, so I don't want flesh tone. So I'm going to get this kind of yellow. And sometimes before I paint it on, I just hold it in there and go, is that going to work? Yep. It is. 
So it's good to test the color against it. Now I'm gonna grab some pure white. Now I've got, what I've got here, look at my brush. I've got orange on one side and yellow white on the other. Now I do this all the time. And there's an artist called Luke Scabaris. You can look him up on YouTube, Luke Scabaris. He talks about painting and he talks about getting different color on each side of the brush. And I went, wow, that's what I do, I do that. So it was, um, it was a really, uh, really affirming thing to hear him talk like that. Anyway, try not to be too deliberate with my, with my brush strokes. Try not to be, try not to be too deliberate. All right, I'm gonna bring some, uh, I'm gonna bring some white in across this. And then as soon as I get too precious about preserving something, I, I make sure I break it. All right. Now, careful that I don't kill this beautiful turquoise I got here. Remember I talked about preserving what's underneath? Remember I talked about how you should preserve things? I, I could kill that turquoise. I certainly don't want to kill that bluey purpley color. But anyway, um, I'm going to keep going and I'll show you the results soon. Just remember, we're painting light colors over the top and we're letting that under color show through by leaving gaps and leave your drawing there. Leave your drawing in there. The whole idea is we have these shapes and these sections. All right, that red's a bit strong, but I'll, I'll show you how I knock it back in a minute. So a little trick is, um, is this. I was working in this orangey color, right? And so then I mixed up a turquoise sort of color. How nice is this color? So I'll just mix up some more. I got a little white. I got the um, the cool blue. And then I grab a touch of the cool yellow, like on my brush, like a little bit like that on my brush. And I drop it off next to it because I don't want to destroy my color too much. And then I work it in. And I get this beautiful turquoisey color. Because turquoise is what is it? It's green with white, right? And then what I do is while that orange is wet, see that orange? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna poison it. So I've got this warm color. What I mean by that is I've got a warm, I've got warm oranges and reds and yellows there. Yeah? So what I need to do is I need to knock them back a bit. So I'm gonna poison them with a little bit of blue. And I'm gonna work it in. Notice how I'm holding the brush. And I'm just gonna gently just hit little bits of it while it's wet. See that? Really, really gentle. And I'm using the texture that's there. How good is this texture? This is a um, really, really tasty, tasty texture. So when I come over here to this area, this, this, uh, Orange was a bit strong. So now, without burying all this, I'm actually working to enhance it. I kind of, you know, you're trying to like make it look like, I don't know, old rock. You're antiquing it. So you just sort of dust, see how I'm just dusting the top like that? See how all that, see the orange is underneath? It's a bit blurry. See the orange there, it's underneath, okay? So here, I need to do the same. Just little touches of this color and just let it sit on top. And it just knocks back this orange, which was a bit too strong. And I'm gonna, I could probably even work it into the red. The thing is you can do too much of one thing. So don't, like you learn a trick like this and you go, this is working, but don't overdo it, whatever you do. See, that, no, I'm not happy about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a bit of this red. Woo, look how much I got. And I'm, going to, and I'm going to immediately stick it back over the top. Right? And so then I've got the blue underneath. And then I've got that, that new red over the top. Now, I know I said don't use, don't use pure color. But, I mean, as I pick color up now, I'm, start, I'm starting to really 
you know, mix up my Play-Doh, so to speak. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just start bringing that red back in. It's quite pasty and um, quite pasty and quite tasty. Yes, that's really, really, really good. Now that, that area there is a bit too wet to work any longer. I know what I wanna do. I wanna get some really dry looking red into it, but I, I'm just, I'm gonna be a little cautious because at the moment when I lay the red in there, it's getting all a bit sticky and it's looking a bit too deliberate and I don't want it to look too deliberate. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lay some thick red because I can't even remember what that shape was. So I might have to go back to an old photo and, and just check it out. Anyway, I'm not far from being finished actually. There's some really nice blacks coming through in this. Time to wash the brush. Big bucket of water so you can get all the paint, all the paint off the brush. Okay, and just check it. When you check it, make sure there's no, see those colors still running out of it? Check it again. Shake it again, that's better. As I shake it off. Okay, I need to get in some blues now. I've done enough red. So this is this is where you go, right, I've done enough red, too much red. Now I need to work the cools. So I'm now gonna start working these colors here and working them back in. So this blue, sometimes it's good to mix the two blues together and a touch of white. A little touch of white will liven that blue right up. And then, here I am, I'm in this area here. I'm gonna concentrate more on painting than holding the camera. Which means I might not do a, a great job. See how I left that, that area there? I might not do a great job of holding the camera, but anyway. Now I don't wanna get it too furry, that's for sure. Really important I don't get it too furry. Don't let everything go furry. But, you know, I've got a nice colour thing going on here, but it, I don't know, what the hell, I'll get it back. I, I know I'll get it back, so I'm gonna grab some of that blue and I'm gonna drop it in up here. I love that warm blue. And I might, dare I, get some water into it. This is like the first moment I've used some water while I'm painting on this at this stage. And it might run, but up oh, there it goes. And that's okay, if I can get some nice stains happening. If you can't control the dribbles, then work flat. Okay. Now this is a bit dead, this area. So I've got some really heavy paint and I'm just gonna lay it in there. You'll notice I, I come in from the edge a lot. That's all right. That's, that's just my style of painting. I've got no black out. Do not let black get anywhere near any of this work at this stage. We're not interested in the black. Just need to invade it, invade the warms and the cools into each other. So we've got all that warm, little touch cool, big amount of warm, bit more cool, bigger amount of warm, more cool, real cool, little bit of warm. You don't want, see my hands, you don't want colour doing that, you want colour doing this, interlocking. And if you look at this area through here, that's what it's starting to do. Okay. Remember um, these polychromatic greys? This is where this colour theory comes back in, right? Remember these colours? Remember these greys that we get through the middle of these mixes? Well, they're starting to occur. They're starting to occur here on my palette. Now, they're beautiful, but again, you've got to control them. This is getting quite thick and almost unmanageable now. So what I've got to do, I'll show you this little technique I've got. So I really need to pick up, I've got this sort of cooled off 
gray. So it's white and it's sort of cooled off, right? I've got this much paint on my brush. Let me just think about what I'm going to do with this. Oh, okay. So I've got a bit of, I've got de some dead areas. They don't look so dead on camera, but to the naked eye they do. And with all this wet paint, what I've got to do now is I've got to sort of bomb the area. So this big lump of paint, I'm not going to work in too much. I'm just going to do this, you watch. I'm just going to bomb it in like that. Great gobbing lumps of paint. And I'm just bombing it in. I kind of just bomb that area. See how thick it is? Pretty thick. But we're getting some nice marks happening. Now I need to come back over this with some dark. But if I put dark over this now, it'll all just drown out and go grey. So I'm, I'm, we start dark, now we've gone light, but I'm going to have to come back over it with a bit of dark again. I need, I'm wondering if I need some lighter colour there. I remember how I said hold it there and see if it works. Yeah, it will. Just get some, and then we're, again, bombing it in. You sort of dabbing it on, but you're not doing dots, you're doing like crunchy swipes. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, that, that's working. That color's turning gray because of the orange. That's working. A little bit discipline. Don't use too much. Hold off. I can. I might get a band of that gray going down through down through here. Whoa, tempting. Could wreck it. But anyway, well let's let's give it a. Yep. No, I'm happy with this. This is good. So this is where you got to follow your instincts, and they really do kick in. You just go. Mm-hmm. But before you go any further, you step back. How's it working with the rest of it? Well, might be enough. Maybe I need a little bit more of it, just. Maybe I need a little bit more, like I've got that gray blue, and I've got the dark patch, oops. And then um, I'll bring that gray blue, back in, gray blue back in there. I'll just put a little bit more Just there. Yeah, it's picking up the wrong blue. So this is, this is made from the, get some paint off the brush. Oopsie daisy, so I've got that one there. And I've got this white here. A bit more of that blue in there, like that. Beautiful. And again, what we call it? Bombing it. We're just like dabbing it in there. And getting that paint to See, I love what's showing underneath, so I don't want to bury that too much. This is nice. Just need a bit over there. I'm really quite instinctive. I'm just following my instincts with it. That's really starting to come together. It's kind of, it's, it's just got to be satisfying for me. I'm not really painting for anyone else here. I'm just painting, painting for me. You know, am I enjoying the color? Yes, I am. See how I leave those gaps? See how I'd put that in there? I already had that there and I lay this in and I'm letting all that sort of under color come through. You've got to let the under stuff show through. Woo now I'm getting excited. It's taken a little bit, but I'm now I'm sort of, yeah. I'm going, yeah, yeah, I'm liking this. Okay. Uh, I've got a lot of this color over here. I do want to put a bit of it here, but not, not too much. Just gonna bomb a bit of that color in there. Like that. Ooh. That's that's doing it for me. Alright. Yeah, I've got this little invasion of this grey blue coming through. It's like a little battle. But I'm ignoring the bottom section of the painting. Let's get back. Let's have a look. It's all right. Getting a bit pale through the middle now. I'm gonna to have to darken it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a dark wash over it later on. I'm gonna bring back some of those darker areas. 
maybe draw back in it with some charcoal and water as well. Right. So get into it, have fun. Don't over paint it. Like I might stop now. This might be enough. Yeah, this will do me. Lovely colors. Like the colors are just beautiful. Alrighty. Okay. Have fun. Go easy. Remember, preserve and show. Let show through what's underneath. Let that show through. Okay. And uh, you know, let things like that happen. I've been preserving that line. I've been keeping it there, and then it disappears and it comes back in again. It's like a river that's scarred its way, scored its way through the through through a land, and it's carved out a canyon and it's broken off here and it's branched out and and it's coming back and it's made its own way through and then i've got another one up here another one down through here let those let those um rivers of darkness pop through all right enjoy keep it bright don't let it get too muddy keep washing your brush um, and know when to stop and keep stepping back from it and checking it out and just keep keep doing this warm and cool thing a bit of warm a bit of cool you know warm and cool can happen in each little area keep battling that warm and cool everywhere like here we've got a real battle between warm and cool going on you notice I've sort of lost the the blue orange thing a little bit I'll let it go. I'm not being so stringent with it. And I'm more interested now in just the battle between warm and cool. All right. All right, I know I keep saying, all right, off you go, start painting. <laughs> all right, see ya.